We are live. Hi, Tina. This is David, and I'm sitting in a Costa Coffee in Cambridge. And I'd like to uh, show you how you can use Google Scholar to search for things. So we're at the Google Scholar main page. And if I type in inquiry-based learning, we can just start with a simple search. And uh, some important things to uh, be aware of. We see a very lot of results, and then we can also see the citations as well. And I think this is very important. Um, the more citations, obviously, the more prominent the article, and uh, perhaps uh, the more likely you should be reading it. Um, in addition, by clicking on this, you can see uh, which articles have been citing said article. <clears throat> so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you can go on a treasure hunt. So by looking at the um, inquiry-based learning uh, topic, we can find relevant articles and also find even more relevant articles. Okay, uh, in addition, you might want to look at more recent research. So you can look at everything. Uh, for example, since 2011, and so you only get recent uh, articles. And <clears throat> over here, you might want to take a look at these as well. So here you can find uh, the journal article, or I mean the journal uh, conference uh, from which each article has come. And if you're familiar with prominent journals uh, that cover inquiry-based learning, then this may also help you to select the right ones. So just going back, uh, finding both the articles with the most citations may help. Finding the articles uh, from the most uh, prominent journals may also help. Uh, finding the most recent articles, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, may also help as well. And uh, is there anything else that at this point might be useful? Uh, I think as you start reading these articles, um, you'll get a feel for what other keywords you should actually be looking for. You know, reading the abstracts, seeing which ones are applicable to you, for based learning, for example. Perception here. Students. And you might get some more things. You might. Uh, it says my citations. Oh, okay. Well, you can track your own citations too. And, uh, that's about it. So that's just a, a fun, simple way of using Google Scholar. Um, 25 versions. Finally, this is uh, different places on the web and different forms to, uh, to actually uh, extract this article. Okay, that's about it. Happy hunting, team.